All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for The, the Promised Promise Neverland, Neverland, episode 10. We're going to build a wall. We, a big we, wall. No, we left on a cliffhanger. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because if a wall wasn't enough, mm -hmm. oh boy. Oh boy, they're in trouble. They yeah, are in, in trouble. In some ways they lost. In some ways they lost. They haven't lost yet. No, no, no. They haven't lost yet. But it's bad. It's but, really bad. Like, our theory basically, like, is where, like, I'm sticking my guns to with regards to this whole thing, <laughs> what we discussed in the last episode. Yep. Viva la revolution. Like, like they're, they're going to have to pull a real Hail Mary right here. Yeah. And that's exciting. Or Hail Phil, it's, however that it's, works. It, it, sure, sure. Uh, there's a, there's a, lot of, a lot of real potential here, but it comes down to the team yep. buckling down mm -hmm. and making it happen. Oh, boy. So let's all group up. And hit it till it dies. <laughs> yep. And we're gonna be standing over her, just like just broken but not dead, not dead body, mm. and uh, being like peace. And uh, oh boy, ready? That yeah, yeah yeah. Let's let's see it happen. Let's do this. Okay. All right, everyone. We're gonna be starting the episode in five, four, three, two, one. Now. The what, the what, the what? Da, da, da. And the animation card is over right now. Straight into the OP. Here we go. I like it. Ah. Woo! Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. See, even the embers floating and stuff. Fire. Fire. Hey, fire is the like whatever D and D campaign you're in. The laws, the rules of nature are always supreme. Like fire, gravity, things like that. You just you can't underestimate their usefulness. Yeah. Or danger. And we have our horde of gremlins that you yeah. can use to. Like, couldn't you imagine this work. Emma just sitting there with like a crutch and, and then Jotaro pointing? Well, well. <laughs> sure, or or just a torch in her hand and just this big like crazed smile. All right, hands in. Let's do this. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, and ban shot. Yep. <laughs> If there's ever a point where they play the opening in the show, like yes. they burn everything down and then it goes into the opening, they'll just be like, oh, <laughs> so good. Oh, yeah. boy. Full moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. 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 Something we missed, maybe. What have you got planned, Norman? Oh. <gasps> oh. No way. Another farm. Yeah. Oh boy. Dang. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay, okay. So they need to cut through headquarters. Yep. Hey, Phil! <laughs> oh. I got that! <laughs> That kid is everywhere, man. Yeah, that kid I'm is everywhere. <laughs> right, right. But we can still use it later. Okay, okay, okay. But this is this is
You're part of anyone, Norman, so... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh. And Ray's taking this hard. Well, yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. But what if he had a plan that he couldn't tell them about? I mean, I think it would be involved what, what I was theorizing, that they need someone basically to be in there. Or he's basically just trusting them that, you know, he can't, yeah, he has to be detached from it and stuff. Oh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> can you put this little cup thing in there yeah. so we can talk to him? <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. I I I was literally going to say that like I don't I don't oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I guess I don't get sick. That explains it, Jacob. I'm I'm an idiot. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big deal for her. Like, don't get, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of them sick. Yeah. Got to take good care of them. Yeah. <laughs> How? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Oh. Oh. Huh. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh. oh, it's so adorable, but the crazy thing is that's Ray with who already knew everything at that uh -huh. point. Yep, yep. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, okay. The plan's in place. Oh. Dang, no! Come on! You're kidding. Come on! You're kidding! Wait. Everyone's gathered, though. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh. It would make sense, though, that 
that he would have to trick them if he did have a plan, though, because mom would be looking to them to make sure that they didn't have a plan and that they were actually freaking out about this. Mm. Oh. The infirmary, where the scalpels and... Or where the scalpel and the... Oh... No, <laughs> come on. With her busted leg? Oh. Oh. No! No way! No way! Oh! Oh, she almost landed on her leg and everything! Yeah. Holy crap! Oh. oh, there's no plan. There's no plan. She's just, she's just desperate. She wants to help him. Oh, man, that got him. Yeah, that got him good. Yeah, yeah, you didn't, you didn't, baka. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, on this track. Oh yeah. Holy crap! <gasps> I always loved you. Wow. Wow. And then she comes in and interrupts it. <gasps> oh. He took it! He took it! He took... He took the thing! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But did you see that? He took it out uh -huh. of her hands. So he has the... He yeah. has the taser. Oh, this track is so good. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm sorry for tricking you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, he is giving it back. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Come on! Ray's not here. But Ray's he's got not his, here. He's got his trump card. Oh no, he's just... Whoa. He's just sulking. Ugh! I, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. There's still time, there's still... Oh, yeah. Wow. Dang. Oh. But not knowing the truth. Oh. Oh. Why did that shake her? Yeah. 
Because I think it's that hmm. she had never been asked that. Like, yeah, ever. yeah. By by someone that's going out to die. Yeah. Yeah. That That is actually concerned about her well-being. Yeah, he's been here before. Yeah. The gate is open, though. Uh-huh. I'm getting Ender's Game vibes, Jacob, you know? Like, they... <laughs> oh. Is he... Maybe it's not that there's a plan, but that it's like you passed the test. <gasps> now would you like to work for us? Yeah. Yeah. How much you want to bet? The sun rises, and we're not being shown what mm -hmm. happened to Norman. But he was not taken to the truck immediately, so... Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. They're gonna do the same thing like they did with the cliff and show, yeah. wow, and like show what happened to him at the very end of the episode. Probably. God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That. Ah. Uh, that hurts. Yeah. Nice. Little bottle rocket. Mm -hmm. And not showing her eyes. Yeah. God, we're just moving through the day now, like, mm -hmm. God, Ugh. Oh, come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. No, oh, come on, come on. Come on. Oh. If Norman did give Ray a plan though. No, I I I really feel like we're we're in Ugh. that we're in that moment where they're just dragging it out because it's more painful for us to not right. know. Well, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh. God, no! She has to be lying. She has the to be. The fact that she said Norman's dead yeah, is, I, I would know. say, proof that he's not dead. Yeah. You know, anyone yeah. who has to say, I am the king, is not the king. Right. Is that what you did? Yeah. There it is. There it is. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was waiting, like, see if, like, that would happen. Yeah. Oh, my God.
Wow. That's this is some that's, insight that's, into, that's, into her. Yeah. God. Oh, and it, she does feel for her, though. That's even more twisted. Like, yeah. she knows how mm -hmm. much this pains her. She probably went through something similar. Yeah. It's been a month. It's been a month. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, no. Now he's still alive. God. Oh my oh. God, that was the most adorable. Oh. oh. God, I've seen them all depressed. I can't even get like, oh. Uh. God, that smug look on her face. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, are they going all the way to... No, no way. No. No way. I mean, yeah, their spirits are broken, so... Time just... <sighs> What's Ray doing? Or no, that's Emma, yeah. Oh my god! Whoa. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay! 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 Alright! Whoa! Okay. Okay. Hold on. This is a different song. And it's different visuals, I think. Is or, it different visuals? Uh, I feel like not. I've seen these no. visuals before. No, yeah, no, this, yeah, never mind. Oh, is that, is that young Isabella? Isabella? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh, and then. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait. so. Or no. Yeah, I don't think we have seen no, these visuals yeah, this before. New. This is very new. Or wait. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, and then it goes down below and. But I. I feel like. That I feel did like it's still different. different. I feel like it's very different, though. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely different. Oh, oh. Books burnt. Mm -hmm. Books burnt. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gonna preface everything right now, mm -hmm. y'all. I'm in denial. I'm in denial, and I'm totally okay with it. I might also be, but I also don't think I am. Okay. I think this so, is, like, yeah. So, here's mm -hmm. the thing, here's the thing. Is Norman dead? No. 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 But here's the thing, he could be. He could be. He could be. It, but, well, and the thing is, but, well, and here, come on, here's the, come here's on, the important come thing. Come on. Here's the important thing. For, for all intensive purposes, to Emma and Ray, he is dead. 
I don't right. So 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 mm. they they are they are going through the full stages of grief and everything that that does. Yep. Um, yep. But 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 he's not dead. He's not dead. He's out there somewhere. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I, I I cannot I cannot accept that he's dead. Like like there there are multiple moments in in other shows kind of of this nature where you have that dark kind of. Mm-hmm thing brooding in the background yeah. and it takes away a character far right. too soon. But but, but here, this, but this Norman just no. leveled up. He leveled up. He's like, okay, the bridge <sighs> is at headquarters. Headquarters is in the adjacent area. They could get into the headquarters section because if they can get on top of the wall, they can get over there. Question is, how do they get to the bridge? And if he goes over there to the headquarters area, then maybe it's so that he can scope out the place so that he can help, God, you I, know, I, get oh them God, to so and across the bridge once they, once they escape. <sighs> But oh here's, boy. here's my thought. Here's my thought with mm-hmm. it. My 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 way yeah. that you can spin this to where his life is still in danger though, mm-hmm. and it, it makes sense, is that he is currently being tested. Right. To see if he's actually yes. worthy. And yes. if he's not, they'll still just take they'll him just to the Tifari, him. you yeah. know, food kind of processing unit or mm-hmm. whatever. Yep. Yep. The thing is, is that uh, yeah. The thing is, is that I, I can't accept that they would basically, <sighs> I, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. no, I just, I just don't accept it. Yep, but yep. here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, like, I, I, I need, I need that cathartic, like, moment where they all come together and they're like, no, we're gonna do this. Right. And they to set it, it up yeah. until the very last second of this uh-huh. episode. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, and there's yep. only two episodes well, left after well, this. And and that look in Emma's eyes, that's the okay. That's okay. the that's the let's do it. Right. Like, yeah. Like we'll we'll play your way. Revolution. Yeah, taking off the gloves. Like like this is this yeah. is a battle to the death. Like, yeah, like, like, like who like, cares if we die? We're taking you down with us. Like so they're burning this whole place. They will become the, the chaos gods. Yep, exactly. And oh yeah. Prepare to have mm-hmm. a sleepless night isabella now the now the thing that's rough a rude is that, awakening is that ray's getting shipped out the next day so this is happening it, now right and also now and and they so they they brought up the thing that i was wondering if they were going to bring up at some point mm-hmm. of isabella actually saying if you freak out again i will kill you yeah right basically the idea that it's like okay i'm okay with having one dud if it keeps the crop safe right yep. Because otherwise, you know, like, like if she didn't have that, then they could just spend the entire two months just setting fire to the woods and whatnot, unless yep. she locked just him up or whatever. Making it you know. a living hell for right, her. exactly. So, and and they can't have that. But right. but the fact that it's the next day, yep. like they can't She's just go chaos be... for the sake of chaos. Yep, they yep. need to they need to do something big that Isabella one does not see coming, and the likes of which is not something that can just be brushed away. Yep. Right. Like like yep. this needs to be big. Yep. Yep, yep. And I I, oh I think I think I, I I okay, 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 okay. I have an I have an idea as to how there might have been some kind of sussing out of information here. If Norman cuz there's the biggest Chekhov's gun I would say in this whole thing which is the books. Mm-hmm. In terms of all the things out there that are kind of like you know they're introduced yeah. and they haven't really been brought up again, mm-hmm. other than them maybe being set up for world building in the, the later bit, which I think sure. is definitely the mm-hmm. case. Is the idea that those books came here, right? And they were, that means they have allies on the outside. That means that there's someone in headquarters. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. That's at the very least on their side. Right. Now, there's a couple ways you can spin this. There's a couple ways you can spin this. The ultimate twist. The ultimate twist, I think, would be uh-huh. that mom is actually on their side. <laughs> now, there's no way that's the case. Yeah, that, but the other that would the take other, some real right. The other mm-hmm. Chekhov's guns in here is mm-hmm. Ray's trump card. He can use against mom. Right, and he hasn't used that yet. Apparently. Yeah, that's a good point. It's just out there, and the thing was, he didn't use it for when Norman got away. Right. So I feel like they could still Keikaku Dori this uh-huh. if there's something going on there. And then the other one that seems to be more and more kind of a either kind of a an adorable running gag or actually like something that we're supposed to be like Phil. 
Because Phil just seems to be everywhere, and he's the only, like, named, really se- semi-important uh-huh. character that they have of the kid kids, you right. know, like the, well, and, the little kids. Well, and he's constantly the intermediary for all these delicate, sensitive... Ma- hey, maybe Phil is the secret weapon, the... the yeah, the, I... Like, like not, not in yeah, any, like, absolute yeah. sense, but the idea that Ray could have Phil do stuff for him grabbing things that he needs or 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 whatever you know causing distractions for mom you know yeah all under the guise of this is an innocent little phil you I, know yeah i feel more like it's not a thing that he's like some kind of secret weapon of anyone's mm-hmm. if anything if there's anyone that he was a secret weapon of, at least in my theories it was that he mom. was mom's uh-huh. and he was just a spy that was right. spying on all the other yeah. stuff mm-hmm. but if he's not that i think it would be a very cool thing to have him be a neutral third party who's just you know kind of like ray in a lot of ways if ray was able to hold all the memories and stuff like that from a baby like phil is what like six or something you wouldn't get that innocent and wholesome of a smile no 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 totally not that's why i think if anything he's just maybe observant like maybe he's sure he's he's just he's just picking up on things Mm -hmm. And that's where things could be be interesting. Yeah. But I, I think this is all going to boil down to the mob, the, the kids. The mob versus the mom. The mob versus the mom and how they make things happen in two episodes. In two episodes! I know. Like, there's no way they can have this, oh, no, no, they could totally kill Norman. God, I'm in such denial right now, y'all. Yeah, I, like, like, I can't even be, be sad because it's like, no, my brain refuses no, but no, to no. accept. The, the, the thing is, refuses. the thing is, is they did the thing that they didn't answer the myster the the the, the mysterion of of Norman being going towards the truck and then Mom being like this way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because because you know from what we've seen, all it takes is just one of the little demons to come out and and notice. We actually don't see them pierce. Uh, yeah. Not we didn't see them pierce uh, Connie, but oh, we, we saw, saw them pierce Chrome. Pierce that's right. Chrome, yeah, that's right. Um, that's right. So now it could just be that um, that you know it's like it's a longer process. It's like mm-hmm. okay, let's fill out some paperwork, right. whatever. You know, take some final tests or something so we can mark down exactly what kind of inventory we're but sending. But not over a month's time. Not over a month's time, right? Yeah. So now, now, it's granted, be something else if he's alive. Well, but the other thing is that we didn't see any demons there. Now, yeah, but so, this is. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. But just because we didn't see any of that there doesn't mm. mean he's. But mm. head on a spike, bulletproof glass case. You know, like they like because because we did yeah. not actually we did not see, see him get conned. Right, we did not see him get conned. We did not. We yep. and and in fact, the only thing we saw was that it was different than what we would have expected for him to get. Yes. Conned. So I would say that's that's very very good foundation that he is alive. But the way they did the the aftermath and, and and emma and ray dealing with it was absolutely stellar like even if he is still alive the thing is is because because they're not really they're not really tricking us into thinking he's dead because they're making it so clear that there's something else that we don't Wait. know right that could be a reason why he's alive but okay. the fact that they showed all of these characters who from their perspective he's dead that that in some way makes his death hit harder because it's not about whether or not he's alive, but that to them he's dead, right? You know, and, and we see them grieving for it and, and breaking and all of that. And we see we see Phil coming up to Emma and just being like, Emma, and just giving her yeah, a hug and things yeah. like that. That's the kind of stuff where even though we're we're holding on to that hope that's probably founded, that at some point Norman will make a dramatic reapp- reappearance and entry and all that stuff. Right now he has died. And that sucks. I I still can't accept it. So mm-hmm. I am I am sorry, guys. If I just need to get over it and just move on, and then no, he's I, dead. I, I personally don't think you do. I think they've made it they they've made it fairly clear of planting the evidence that he can be alive and that he probably is alive. Just that shot in the op of them busting through the puzzle mm-hmm. circle box whatever yeah, yeah. and. Yeah, I can't. Okay, okay, okay. So, so maybe I just got to have an explanation. I got to have something. Is it that maybe his birthday, because he was being shipped out earlier, 
they're waiting a little bit more time with him being like tested for some specific things well, mm-hmm. and then once it's kind of closer to his birthday then they'll do something with him or or they just have in, in the same way that that Emma was finally made the offer of you could be a mom we found out what they do with guys yeah we find out what they do with the boys yeah yeah and and Ray being being as smart as he is he's like yep I'll take that and then he's just thinking, all right, I just now I just bide my time, try and get extra yeah. information as I can, you know, and then there you go. God, okay, so the little okay. I loved I loved this episode's bit of oh, us doing the yeah. sudden backstory. Uh-huh. You know, equals horrible tragic death setup. But then you have Emma basically being this sneaky <laughs> little persistent kid who yep. just that Keeps. constant that doesn't know when to quit. Yep. That yep, doesn't play exactly. by the rules. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. But then you have Norman having this whole thing of where there's this constant exchange back and forth of the device that would get them to, mm-hmm. you know, be doing this there. Now, if this was all intentional, like if this was all actually like planned out, I'm sorry, guys. I have to go into one of these kind mm-hmm. of you know crazy theories is that all of this is what you need to sell in order for mom to believe right. that she yep. actually mm-hmm. beat Lull you. her into a false sense of security You're right make her think she's won yep uh-huh yeah yep. now here's the thing here's the thing what are the what are the Chekhov's guns that we've 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 led up with there the taser the well taser yeah it hasn't been used yet but this is kind of an, a way of it being used in the story it's being brought up as mm-hmm. a as a point of reference but the other one is Ray's um, Ray's secret thing Ray's secret on mom, thing. and then also the fact that there is the the uh, anesthesia and the scalpel in the in the pla- in the infirmary, yes. and Ray was in the infirmary when also, all of this was happening. Right, and then also the uh, the books. So right, there's the uh, and then just Phil in general. Yeah, yeah, Phil. Phil seems to be more of like a. More, more of a meme, maybe, but yeah, yeah, exactly. He's, he's but, just so adorable. He's so, he's so cute. And the but, whole scene with the telephone cup. But, like, but, but, hold on, ugh. hold on. There's the bit where Emma kind of takes matters into her own hands and is like, "I'll distract mom. Go do this." And he, he strongly opposes. He strongly like, no. opposes that. So, yeah. in some yeah. ways, I think that this has to be something where maybe, maybe. Maybe that's acted, but I actually think it, it, it couldn't have been. It, it, oh, I don't think it was acted for Emma, but I could see it being acting for Norman. Where for basically, Norman, yeah. he pieced together that they probably have some use for the boys if they do well. Yeah. So I'm going to present myself as an effective, like you know, as a, well. His as test a, results speak for themselves. Well, his test results speak for himself, but it's also personality, right? Because while Mom made the offer to Emma. It was very much something where mom is realizing, like, I'm going to have to do a lot of convincing and helping her see things from my perspective and things yeah. like that. Whereas with Norman, he comes off as being a lot more reasonable and whatnot. Right. So, in fact, she praises him by saying, exactly, you're doing yeah. the right thing. In yep. fact, that's praiseworthy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and the whole thing of, like, I'm uh, I'm glad I, I got to, to meet someone like you, you know. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. That is interesting, though. Spending a happy yeah. lifetime. Hey, are you happy, mom? And she has this like, yeah. Let me let me well, see because, that. Let me see that well, expression again. I think I think what it is is because she gave up a long time ago, just like she told Emma to give up. You know. Yeah, just seeing that that look in her face, mm-hmm. I have to freeze on it because it's. Yeah. It's okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's genuine shock. Mm-hmm. Genuine. Yep. Not play acted, not hammed up. They are in a one-on-one yep. conversation. She is shooketh yep. by him asking her that question. Right. But here's the thing. Why? Why? Yeah. Now it. Why? Now, right. If it's, I, I don't think that it'll end up just being something like, oh, she's remembering the idea of wanting to be happy. No, right, no, no, right. no, no. She's been doing this for too long. But the idea that Norman is asking her, mm-hmm. the the idea that Norman is asking her, are you happy? Mm-hmm. That's that is expressing care. For the person that is yep. that that cared yep. for you, also they could ship you off to be eaten. Well, see, that's that's the thing. I I wonder if what she's basically sensing is that there's something, there's something that Norman is trying to maybe offer her, offer her, right, her, uh-huh. and is saying, "Hey, mm-hmm. I care about you," and she's just like, 
right. genuine care mm-hmm. from someone that knowing I'm, everything. Yeah, you know, someone uh-huh. that knows everything. Oh, that's interesting. And it just shakes her up, and she kind of goes, and she resumes her facade, her mask. Right. Uh-huh. Or maybe she's being honest. Maybe she's like, yes, I am happy. Yeah, and she's able to be because honest. I was because I was able to meet someone like you. Yeah. Right, and that's the thing. I, I genuinely think that there's like actually like something within this conversation we're not seeing here like it's it's not like it just mm-hmm. it's too you don't well, intentionally okay. put a scene in like this uh-huh. just to explore the empathy that they are like like the idea of empathy even within this whole narrative is something that's quite interesting because amongst the kids it makes sense they've mm-hmm. spent all this time together in right. a happy life yep. but once you have a kid that's aware and they're aware that the mom is aware of all this stuff and then how do you have empathy towards the other mm-hmm. that's something fascinating that's yep. something that makes maybe her go wow you're an incredible person yep but by her thinking worth saving Yes, are you an incredible person? Yeah. Does that like change things in some way? Mm-hmm. Like, here's here's a crazy thought. Here's an even crazier thought. Mm-hmm. Like, this is a slow game. This is a long game. Okay. The grandma, like, like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go so hard here. All right, all right. Like, she is basically just realized that he has the emotional fortitude. He has the something else or whatever mm-hmm. to join their secret group. Sure. Like the grandma passed on the lineage thing to mm-hmm. Isabella. They're all mm-hmm. part of this human su- subtle resistance group. Yeah. And they yeah, all uh-huh. through very like specific like criteria right. make sure that they can get the perfect person to be put right. into because the if organization. They have anyone that is not of up mm-hmm. to their high standards, then right. the entire thing could come crumbling down. And they would have on some level the disconnect from their humanity to maybe turn on them for one, but also the disconnect from the easy to jump onto hatred for the way this world works mm-hmm. and attaching it to an individual by being yeah. like, you mom, you're the object of my hatred for the way this world right. works. Well, and, and, and if you think about it, if you think about it with the idea of if you, if you, if mom was a double agent, yeah, yeah. the kind of double agent you would want to be is the absolute best on their the side. The best one the, ever. The absolute best. Yeah. Do, do your job so faithfully mm-hmm. so that they would never see anything coming. And then you yep. basically just kind of skim a little off the top, right? Right, right. You know, um, and just the way that they've set that up potentially with the whole thing of Chrome being like, yeah, she doesn't mm-hmm. play by the rules right. like as because, much as because the real thing that you would want to do is mm-hmm. not to rescue kids. No, no, you wouldn't want to do that. You'd want to make more double agents. You'd want to make more double agents and yeah. basically be like, and because because that's also the way to basically say oh, I'm not, you know, because if if a kid goes missing, especially one of the prime ones, right? Yes, yes, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, but if it's like no, 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 this this kid, they're good, mm-hmm. like. Like they'll be they'll be great agents. Now, yeah. of course, that's also uh, it could go the other way too. It could go the other where way. Where it's all a co- part of the thing where there will be one, two, or maybe even three uh-huh. that get cold to be ah, your intellect is one that we won't use in this mm-hmm. way as food. Right. We're going well, to like we use the food mm-hmm. thing actually as a mechanism to recruit you into sure. this other thing, and then well, the world well, can and, get even crazier. And, and the thing is, is that. Potentially, from the demon's perspective, this is the really insidious thing. Oh. This could also be all a part of their plan. Yeah. Because what better way to keep this organization running than to get people that are really smart, Uh that will know how to basically not do anything stupid, that'll get themselves revealed. Right. And by doing so, the way to, you know, make themselves not be revealed Uh is to be a very efficient, well-oiled cog in the machine. Sure. And then basically what the Jeez. demons just have to do is pay the little tax off the top, the, the tip to their waiter, yeah. basically, that, that yeah, they're also doing some stuff to destabilize us, but we're going to make sure that it's never bad enough that right. we'll actually get taken down. Which is crazy, because that's basically the, that's the essential bit of that mid-level management corruption that oh, comes sure. in. And it could go either way. It could go that mom is a double agent or it could go in that it's, no, this is all a part of the the like mm-hmm. the extra thing going on behind the scenes yeah. with regards to why yeah. they mm-hmm. recruited mom at all in the first place. Yep. And yep. I can't not look at the similarities between the fact that Isabella was one that made it to the top of the wall, mm-hmm. saw right. the world beyond, was called back down by grandma, 
Norman, who also got to the same situation, yep. might be in that same whole bit there. It's oh, yeah. just like, ah, Jacob, yep. this show. Absolutely ridiculous. Just and the denial bit that not accepting know, that know, Norman is dead is making me a, but, think but about all these crazy theories. But the thing is, the fact, ah. the fact that the fact that Norman isn't dead, and I would say right. I can say with fair amount of certainty, but not a hundred percent certainty, because the thing yeah, is, because yeah. this is what this is what I love about this so much. Things where uh, someone dies and you're like, okay, they're probably still alive, right? You know, it can yeah. be hard to sell those and it can come across, across as fake. Or if you sell it too mm. well that they're dead, it can come across as backtracking, right? Yeah, sure. Or it's like, uh, we didn't actually want them to be dead, so we're going to make them still be alive, right? Um, uh. But in this case, because they very openly and as the very last thing they do, give us the, the, little, the, the little hint, glimmer of hope that... Yeah, Ray's probably alive. Then we you basically mean, you mean Norman or Norman's probably alive. Then we take it. Yeah, <laughs> I thought Ray and Glimmer of Hope. You know, you know, and then yeah, but Norman that Norman's probably alive. That changes how we look at it then, because mm -hmm. then because then there's the idea. It's not the thing of he's dead, but maybe there's hope. It's that he's alive, but but he could be dead. Mm -hmm. Like if the, like he like he's alive, but he could be dead. And all this suffering that we see here. It, one, it's real to the characters, but it might end up being real to us. And that's scary. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. All right. <sighs> so Ray's getting shipped out tomorrow, but Emma's got a plan. And their eyes are cold. Oh, yeah. Cold, vicious, playful eyes. Oh, yeah. R like, yeah, Emma's Emma's eyes, I, I am so excited to see. Like, because one, the fact that... The fact that Emma has been put through the ringer enough for her eyes to look like that feeling justified. It's the right? loss of innocence right. thing it's that the we predicted at the very beginning yeah. of all the of, show. All of yeah. that, right, yeah. right. But the thing is, is that now we get to see what's actually going to happen when her eyes look like that. Because the thing mm -hmm. is, is that from how this show's been going, like like in, in, in other stories, right. let's say, oftentimes they will talk the big talk. You know, of like, and now this is, you know, oh. like setting up something that is going to totally blow your minds, right. you know. And then it's like, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, that's all it was? Okay. I mean, sure. uh, that's that's cool. That's cool. Sure. You know, but since this show consistently does stuff that sort of takes it that step further, yeah. right? And now they're saying, no, 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 we're going to take it the big step further. Yeah. Uh Mm. <laughs> it's exciting. It's very yeah. Exciting. I get I get a gleeful evil look in my eye too, yeah. or in just in my mind I thinking hope like, they just burn oh. it to the ground. Like like that. Like it's probably not because they actually have a good plan. That's more of like the go out in a blaze of glory thing. Well, I, but, I think I think that you could still do both mm -hmm. because it's the perfect distraction. And the more and more I look at the op, the more I'm like, okay. Yeah. Okay, there's a literal fuse, man. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think about this also, but in terms of like being able to start fire, mm -hmm. that <laughs> yeah, that, mm -hmm. that you just put that over something that's like you know it's flammable, cloth yeah. flammable or what have you. Boom, mm -hmm. there you yeah, go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and one of one of the other things I've always I've always wondered about, right? Because uh -huh. because okay, I think about this in a lot of ways from like a D and D perspective, mm -hmm. and with D and D. It's like, great, you might be a high-level player and all that stuff, right. but there's this thing called a long rest that you need to take eventually, right? <laughs> yes. And the thing is, is that, okay, we have mom. She's raising these kids, right? Yeah. And and we did a two-month time skip here, right? She goes to sleep every night, mm -hmm. gets her eight hours or six yep. or however much she needs, right? Yep. And then keeps going. But she knows that out there there's kids plotting escape and potentially horrible things to her. Mm -hmm. So one that uh, says a lot about her ner like nerves of steel. Oh yeah, but like she's and, a badass. Yeah, and maybe she has yeah. like a lock on her on her door or something oh. like that. You know, like that that would sure. totally be be plausible. And you know, the 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 kids that aren't in the know wouldn't I, bat an eye yeah, at I, it. You know, I think of but, her in very much like a just a soldier. She yes, she yes, is a absolutely. she is a guard dog. Right, like but she's, but I just think about like what would happen if I don't know she got trapped in a room and it caught fire or. Or you know, or something happened. Like while well, she's asleep, like she like maybe she's Telling so you. so yeah. so perceptive that like she'd wake up if someone tried to sneak into her room. But like there's a scalpel, you know. I, like, see, that's the thing. I don't think it's going to be a thing about killing her. I think yeah. it's going to be a thing about distracting her. Yes. And then they're going to use also this is the other thing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a, a Chekhov's gun thing that's been put out there, is that they've been, at, well, not really as much recently, but in the past they were training with the kids for the whole hide and seek uh -huh. tag thing and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's like, 
Are we not going to use right. that? Well, well like, and, that's got to yes. be for the great escape part, right? And, and that could be for after where this season ends. Like it, it, that that uh, could possibly, be a thing, you know, possibly, like going yeah. through headquarters, getting the bridge, whatever. Yeah. But and and yes, the whole thing of not killing mom, I totally agree because because if they want maximum shock and awe, well, well, there's also the there's also the thing like you know in her, in her chest and stuff like that. Right, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, yeah. but but the for the for the narrative flair as well. Mm-hmm. You want someone to be able to perceive all the, yeah, all the how everything has crumbled. You know, the world has set fire, has been set yeah. fire to. You got to get know. her perspective when exactly. the chaos goes down, right? So that that way we can get that that cathartic, full just cathartic, like, just oh, victory. Mm, yes, yeah. We um, played you, uh-huh. played so, you so hard. So this is this is gonna be good. And the thing is, is that like it already is good. It's yeah. So and the good, thing is, but, is that while that's kind of what we what we demand from this show mm-hmm. in a lot of ways mm-hmm. it doesn't have to do that nope they could do something different and, and the thing is is that because they've kept uh, things so mysterious the the uh, the subverting expectations they can avoid that issue because they've they haven't been building up to anything too specific right just yeah, the idea been, of them escaping you know been building up to basically these deadlines where things will happen right exactly and then yeah. based on mm-hmm. the resources and yep. people involved mm-hmm. we can kind of extrapolate certain things that make more sense than right. others to happen but Which even then, i think is what we'll probably end up being ended up with with our theories and stuff mm-hmm. there yeah um biggest biggest theory thing that i i feel like needs to be addressed mm-hmm. um just kind of in a, a general sense is that uh ray has his trump card he's gonna use on yeah uh on mom what mm-hmm. what what uh what has he got on her like what 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 is his what is his thing that he can one up her with like because I, I can't think of anything it's I don't not know. it's not gonna be some kind of like uh yeah, I, like I, I planned for the last 11 years no it's gonna be mm-hmm. something that's like I feel like it's going to be chaotic. It's going to be something that, like, mm-hmm. that maybe he's thought about and he's honed in his mind right. over a long period of time. But the idea that he didn't use it when Norman was right. being sent off. Yeah. It has well, to be, like, a last-ditch resort. Right. The, like, the, the kind of I, thing where he's literally only using it for his own survival. Well, well so the... Even though it wouldn't be this in particular, because when they said that Ray was at the infirmary, I thought that he was getting the anesthetic and stuff, uh-huh. right? Because because the, there's the anesthetic, there's enough to numb five people, right? But that also means uh, that if you gave that right. all to mom, it could be an, a very effective drug. Yes, right? now, that's true. Now, the thing is, is that he that's didn't true. use it there, and the fact that he wouldn't have snuck it away there, because otherwise mom would have noticed in the two months. But there's a yeah. possibility, since they established that there, that he could have gotten that earlier on and yep. was saving it. Mm-hmm. That seems like the kind of thing where maybe then the 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 it's it's not so much a secret weapon kind of but it's like but it's something that he could use if he if he knows of a way to basically get it so that mom will ingest it right or okay. get it into her bloodstream or something then when they go to make their getaway they could they could you know tie her up do whatever right and then there's the the everyday you know check in but barring that you know then they could have a, a head start to to get out of there. Yeah, see, that's the problem. I still don't feel like there's anything where they can get it set up to where they even have a perfect, you know, 24 hours to be able to, you know, kind of right. make well, something I mean, happen. Even, even if they even get six her hours would right be, after the, right. the checkup and stuff. Even six hours, though, I think would be a lot. Yeah, see, I feel like if they had some kind of plan and stuff, it would have had to be right when... Norman went out and the gate was opened. Right. That's the, yeah. That's the thing is that the fact that it, nothing has happened up till now and Norman's gone. Like like it could be that it's just like okay, we're waiting for Emma's leg to heal. Like that could be as simple as what it was. Oh. You know? But what? Wait a minute. Wait. Didn't they say? Mm-hmm. Didn't Mom say because it was a clean break, it wouldn't take that long to heal? Or well, that it would fully heal. But but that's the point. Yeah. But she said, I think that it would right. take this also is, that long to yes, heal. Yes, and this has been two months, and Emma's been in a cast walking on crutches, so so she's probably going to be okay. And the fact that Norman made sure t- that her leg wouldn't get Hold hurt, on. yeah, that's you know, because she was point. about to put weight on it, that could be something where that was very much planned. But also, I don't know if this would be possible, but I wonder if it she would... has crutches still. She has one crutch. Um. Oh, she has one crutch. You're yeah. right. And her her foot, she is kind of raising it up. But yeah, she doesn't have a cast on it right now. Right. Uh huh. Oh, then that's it. So, that's it, dude. 
And, That's and it. Now, I don't know if this would be something Let's that, go! that would have been possible to do, but when I see something like that, it makes me wonder if it would have been possible to basically siphon off anesthesia if mom gave some to Emma while her leg was, like, getting patched up or put in a cast or something. I don't know. And and if mom's giving it to her, then I don't think she'd have a way to, like, yeah, sneak it not, off. But, no. but if they, but basically, like, the, I, 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 I really have this weird feeling the anesthesia is going to be used at some point. Maybe not because the, like they could do something completely different that has way more. No, you you're know, right. It, 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 it to should it, but... it should probably be used because it is another right. Chekhov's gun. Because out because there. the fact is is that mom is an adult trained in combat. They are kids not trained in combat, yeah. right? So, but if they can drug her up real good, then that that is a big help. <laughs> no, you know who it's going to be. Is she's got her eyes perfectly focused on all the oh, other kids. But it's Phil. And Phil just walks up and goes, hey, mom. And right in the back of her like leg or something. Like, Sorry. You're yeah, going to go to sleep that, now. That, that would be absolutely and she's just amazing. Like, no. Or, or and she's going to be like, like you are my greatest spy or something yeah, like yeah. that. And she's like, not anymore. Yeah, yeah. And, uh -huh. and it's going to be just would, like, yo! If, if Phil does <laughs> that. <laughs> Or, or even you know? just, or even just like pours it in her morning coffee or something, you know, or, or some, uh, something. I got your coffee. Yeah, yeah. And then he's just like, drink it, bitch, you know. <laughs> 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 I think I expect too much out of the kid, but but, but, but that would be hilarious. If they did, that, that would be, be awesome. It would be it would be hilarious, okay. but it would also be amazing. I think we got to wrap this up here. Yeah. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's oh reaction this discussion. Episode we are doozy. hyped for the next two episodes. If you want to huh. see the next episode's reaction discussion, though, right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. Any level of support gets you access to our Discord, where mm -hmm. you can chat with us about these stories or about anime in general, or get involved in community events that are really yep. fun, or also. Let's yes. Like Jacob's sci fi book. That's right. Yes. My sci fi novel, Battle Lines. It's still available for order on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Links in the description. So, there you go. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.